the worldwide automotive industry, not just the automotive industry, but many other industries have been watching what's happening with LMFP batteries. We're talking lithium manganese batteries. They're poised to enter the market and potentially increase EV range by 20% or even more. And it appears as though not just Tesla now are saying this is about to happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have, great to have you with us. I'm just just got back to Australia today. Pretty tired, I've got to say. It was a, a long flight back from California. Great to be back here, guys. My solar system here is doing amazing stuff for me right now. I'm doing all the washing, the drying, and it's all free. It's all the solar, even though it's not even sunny today, I'm getting enough, easily enough energy to cover all my costs. More, In fact, more. I'm sending more into the grid, even though it's cloudy. It's crazy. Anyway, if you guys want to use um, what I think is the best solar company in Australia, Resync, I'll put a link to them and they'll give you a discount if you mention me. EV range could increase by around 20% with new LMFP batteries. There's been battery breakthroughs talked about now for a number of years with LMFP. Elon Musk talked about LMFP, manganese dope batteries a number of years ago. Tesla have been working on them for more than five years. But interestingly, a UK-based company called Integrals Power has, well, they're saying that they have figured out LMFP batteries. UK-based company Integrals Royal have unveiled their next generation lithium manganese iron phosphate. So basically, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Obviously, they're the cheapest batteries in the industry at the moment, but it's doped with manganese. They dope the cathode active material with manganese, and that increases the energy density by approximately 20%, which is massive. That's a huge, huge difference. I mean, energy density improvement of 20% allows you to decrease the battery potentially decrease the battery pack size by more than 20% because it makes the battery lighter at the same time. So it's all it's sort of like an exponential benefit. This breakthrough enables cathode materials to support higher voltages as well as improved energy density, which will obviously completely boost EV performance. Well, the EVs using these batteries would be, well, they'd be getting a lot more range than equivalent lithium ion phosphate battery vehicles. The innovative LMFP cathodes combine the affordability and the durability of lithium ion phosphate batteries with the high energy density found in ternary batteries as we know them, which is nickel, cobalt, manganese batteries, NCM, there's also NCA, there's different battery chemistries. But essentially, lithium ion phosphate batteries, they do have less energy density than NCM chemistry batteries. Or say, for example, 4680 batteries or 2170 batteries, the batteries that Tesla use, they do have a high energy density than lithium ion phosphate. But this essentially doping the cathode in lithium ion phosphate batteries with manganese, uh, companies have thought for a long time, if they did this, it could improve the energy density so that the battery is on par in terms of actual energy density between the two different chemistries. And it appears that's what's finally happened. Integral Power claims the L LMFP batteries boost, boast a manganese content, which is very high of 80% in the cathode, that is much higher than the 50 to 70% seen in competing batteries from other manufacturers. By leveraging its specialized materials technology and patented manufacturing processes, the company has circumvented the longstanding challenge, says interesting engineering, of maintaining specific capacity by increasing the manganese content. Other companies have tried this before. This is not the first time this has happened, but for whatever reason, this company has made this uh, technology uh, mass manufacturable. And this is a big innovation in the battery sector. It will be for this company, if they can start producing these in a very large number or potentially license this technology to other manufacturers, potentially Tesla, it would be huge for them. The higher manganese concentration deployed by the company permits materials to reach a specific capacity of 150 milliamp hours per gram and operate at a voltage of 4.1 volts. And it's very confusing to kind of work this out, but essentially you're going from 3.45 volts to 4.1 volts. And traditionally, lithium ion phosphate batteries are running at 3.45 volts. So you can see there's an approximately 20% difference. According to Beenum Hormozzi, the founder and CEO of the company, the automotive industry has long aimed to significantly increase LMFP or basically to mass manufacture LMP cells while maintaining energy density. So it is true that other companies like Cadel have been working on this. Um, Cadel have actually increased the energy density of their lithium ion phosphate batteries without super high dosed cathode cathodes. This is another avenue 
For Cadle, they have four different types of lithium ion phosphate batteries, all with an energy density of 200 watt hours per kilogram. This could boost those if they were able to use this technology to potentially 220, 230 watt hours per kilogram, which would be on par with something like a 4680 battery cell. The challenge that the automotive industry has been trying to overcome for some time is to push up the percentage of manganese in LMFP cells to a high level while retaining the same specific capacity as LFP. Using traditional methods, the more manganese you add, the more specific capacity drops. This has meant it can't deliver a high energy density, said the CEO. So that's basically is revealed why, why there's been a problem with increasing manganese. However, independent testing by the Graphene Engineering Innovation Center has verified their results, unfortunately, only in coin cell configurations. So is this battery ready for prime time? Is it gonna go into EVs? I have no idea because the coin cell test, it's not enough to really confirm that they can be used in a car. However, additional evaluations are underway using pouch cells that better reflect the battery formats used in EVs. And this validation process will highlight the potential, basically it will we'll know if we can use them for EVs. So these new tests will show whether or not these batteries are the real deal, whether or not they will work in the real world in EVs. Now the company said that with third-party evaluation from the energy team at GEIC or GEIC, Integral's Power has developed a world-class cell material in the UK that can compete with NCM in performance while being more sustainable, cheaper, and longer lasting, essentially meaning that this battery would be absolutely a game changer. There's no question it would be. The company will produce high performance LMFP cathode materials at its new facility, along with its proprietary LFP chemistry. So if, it, if this battery is as good as the company claims it is, and it might be, then I think we'll see this, I think we'll see other companies potentially license this technology because a 20% improvement, it's huge. Think about it like this, right? Panasonic and Tesla, they've been working on using silicon in their batteries in 4680 cells, for example. They're saying that'll increase energy density by maybe five, maximum 10%. This is a 20% gain. That's enormous. Thanks for watching.